Hey you guys, I just wanted to make sure before I get started that you've already watched the first video about the government shutdown. Um, so for those of you who have, great. If you haven't, please make sure you watch that and share it with your friends or families who may be impacted by the uh, government shutdown. Um, the federal employees who are impacted by the uh, government shutdown. But one of the things that I wanted to go over with you was family support. Um, a lot of you already know that my daughter graduated from military boot camp. Okay, yay! Just want to throw that out there. Um, so she graduated and I'm, we're proud, you know. Her dad and I were, were really proud of her. But when we went to South Carolina and I was checking to the hotel and we was letting, you know, the, guy, the front desk guy know that um, we were going to go to Fort Jackson, you know, for graduation that he asked he had asked me he says um he asked me how my son was and I told him I didn't have a son and he said oh I thought you said you were going to Fort Jackson and I explained to him I am going to Fort Jackson my daughter in, in the military you know she didn't boot camp he was like oh my god I don't think I could do that I'm like do what and he's like you know if I had a daughter I don't think you know I could let her you know go to the military hmm interesting you know, it's one of those things that I've learned as a parent that everybody does things different. You know, some parents support their kids to do whatever in life. Some parents don't support their kids doing whatever in life. So, the way I operate, look, as long as you're doing something positive and you're doing something with yourself, I'm not against it. Um, I want you to be the best at whatever it is you want to be, you know, and that's how I raise my kids. Be the best at whatever it is that you want to be. If you're going to work in fast food, be the best at it. If you're going to work, um, if you're going to be in the military, be the best at whatever it is. Sometimes I think as parents, we push, you know, being doctors, lawyers, you know, judges, all of those things are great. But we still need to make sure that they understand whatever you do, you need to be great at it. It's not that only certain occupations you're great. Whatever you decide to do, you need to be great at it. And I'm going to support you either way it go. Because one thing I know is as my kids get older, they're going to live their own life. I'm not one of those parents that's about to be all up in their kids' business that's trying to figure out what, when, why. No, they're going to have to make their own mistakes and they're going to have to learn. But I say all of that. So the family understands how important it is, especially for the young ladies in the family, to have that support. You know, so when I hear things like that, you know, well, if it was my daughter, I don't think I could do that. How about we just encourage them, whether it's men or women, to just give 110% in whatever they do? Because when you have that mentality, to me, then you're not saying, because she's a woman, I don't think I could support her doing A or B or because he's a man he shouldn't be this or that I just think it's just too much of that going on especially with these parents you got some parents which I am a true believer that you should push your kid to do their best you know uh, to be great but I don't think that means you know not supporting them and tearing them down because maybe their dream is not what you think they should be of course I would love for my kids to get jobs and it's their great jobs and you know six figures and great insurance you know all of those things but you want to know the reality they're going to make their own decisions they're going to do what they want to do but that's what I want them to do I want them to be able to do the things that they want to do I just want to make sure that I'm giving them the tools and the guidance that they need to be successful individuals that's it i am not about to be over here stressing myself out about things that they should have done or didn't do what can we do about this now well you make sure that if you have sons or daughters and or nieces nephews cousins or whoever that you're being supportive in whatever it is and if you're not going to be supportive then don't say nothing at all because there's a lot of family members out here who um, they have good intention, but maybe they're giving bad advice. You know what I mean? So just make sure that the message is clear with anybody that you're going to support or that you're not supporting. The goal is for them to be successful.
successful in whatever it is that they choose to do, not what you choose for them to do. I don't want to have that kind of control on my kids. If they decide, you know, if she decided, if my oldest right now decide, you know, I don't want to do the military no more. I, I, I just want to come and I want to do whatever. I don't know. She'll figure it out. I'm going to support that. I may not like it, but I'll support it. And that's what we need to learn to do as parents. Just support our family. And we're always criticizing everybody. Like, we got all the answers. We don't even have our lives together half the time. But we want to tell somebody what they need to be doing and how they need to do it. Oh, that drives me crazy. So if you're one of those parents out there, stop. If you're not going to support them, then don't say nothing at all. Don't nobody want to hear your opinion all the time. If you are one of those parents who encourage your kids and you giving them the right tools, that's all you can do. Just continue to be supportive. Because you want to know what, they'll remember that. And I don't want no, you know, none of my family to look at me as the person who's never going to be supportive if they decide to do something outside the box or something different than what I think they should be doing. Hell, I think I should be doing something different. Am I doing it? Mm, not really. So, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're, you know, we, for me, I'm learning from my mistakes and I encourage my kids to do the same. And if you got kids, you need to encourage them to do the same. Don't leave them out here by themselves and they up getting fake love from fake people. And then you're trying to figure out why they listening to the stranger over here instead of you. Well, because you didn't knock them down all their life. Of course they don't want to listen to you. So just be mindful of the kind of support that you're trying to give your kids or your family or your friends. And just know we are at some point in time in our life, we want support or we're going to need support. So just make sure the people that you're surrounding yourself with and the people that you combine in and whoever it is that you have in your life, make sure that you are leading by example. 